Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing really well. My uh, rhythm is completely off, so it's, you know, late evening, <laughs> but feels like the middle of the day to me because I got home this morning at three o'clock uh, after being away at my new job that I decided to take and it's at night where I make bagels all night long. The cool thing is I get to eat one or two <laughs> with cream cheese spread that we make. It's so yummy. I had cheddar jalapeno last night on a plain flour bagel that I made myself and it tasted really really good and had a really nice texture I gotta say. <laughs> um, it was a really fun experience to do that job and make something tasty that the public loves and buys a lot of. And it's funny because uh, a lot of times in life, but especially lately, um, I've felt kind of isolated somewhat. And I don't say that to in a bad way necessarily. I'm not complaining about anything. I just find it interesting because um, when I was finished work at three in the morning, uh, I went out back and, you know, it's very close by, like a block away. So, but I had to walk home at three in the morning, kind of by myself in a city. You know, it's a small city, but nonetheless, you know, I was slightly nervous about being outside by myself at three in the morning, you know, because things happen <laughs> out there. Uh, but, you know, it was the most interesting thing because I went out the back door, you know, said goodbye and went my way. And it was like I was in this different reality. I like walked around and came back here and was like, I'm the only person on this planet right now. Like, there were cars parked places, but no humans anywhere to operate them. It was so interesting. It, it felt really surreal. It felt like an alternate dimension. And I, I just couldn't help but feel like, right, this is an outward manifestation of how I often kind of have felt <laughs> earlier in my life as well as currently, like, just kind of like, right, this is what it feels like to be me sometimes. I see what's out there in the world. I see, you know, things around and what they are and, but also don't necessarily participate all that much either. It's, it's a, it was an interesting experience. Um, and a perfectly fine one. I know that a lot of people would see that experience or hear about it and go, oh, how terrible for you, <laughs> kind of a thing. But I promise it's nothing to feel bad about. Uh, I felt completely and utterly normal and comfortable. And, you know, took my time, walked home, walked past the bakery where I have been working all this time. And, you know, I... I just felt this interesting sense in me being like, this is the right thing to do. It's okay. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly all right to um, change things just a little bit and um, find and learn new things in life and how to do things in a a new way that is probably better than the old way. Um, so while I spent a lot of time alone, I also knew that I had done something valuable. Itchy, itchy nose, whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, 
yeah, it's just a, an interesting observation I had that, you know, that's totally fine. I, I did something good. I provided a service um, while also being able to kind of have a lot of space. As some of you probably know, uh, I've been a cook and baker for the past three years at a bakery. And that means basically it's like working in a restaurant, except you're also making cake and cinnamon buns and other goodies, cheesecakes, things like that. Um, but also cooking for the public and interacting a fair bit with the public and anybody who works in food service and in the public knows that it can be a very rewarding experience but it can also be a very tiring experience because you know a lot of us we we want to work in the kitchen meaning we want to do stuff and focus on that stuff rather than dealing with the grouchy public and um, being called away from something we might be working on um, in order to you know, we have to drop everything and make somebody a panini or something like that. Uh, so this new position has nothing to do with the public, no interacting with the public whatsoever. And I just get to go there and do this task. It's a very diff difficult task, time consuming, labor intensive, uh, but, but I can put all my focus on it and kind of meditate my way through and it's it's really good it's really really good and the extra cool part about this is i didn't look for that job at all it totally found me just through word of mouth because i happen to live in a small place so people know people and they kind of know a little bit about who I am because they know who my former boss is. And she's very kind of known <laughs> in this city. So when I told her I wouldn't mind maybe looking at something else, I don't know, just in passing one day when I saw her, she said, okay, that's cool, good to know. And then she was the one who passed on this other information. So uh, I didn't go looking at all and it just kind of found me and happened to work for you know me and my skill set and I just thought I would share that you know it's a thing it really really is a thing if you really really like just live your I know it's kind of a a buzzword and I kind of don't like employing it but if you live your truth, you know, um, that is an expression that has been used and abused lately. But um, I genuinely mean it, though. I don't mean your truth as in some sort of delusional idea that you have about something that really happened. Because that's usually what people mean when they say your truth. <laughs> that's sorry, that was a digression. But still, I actually mean it for real, real, though. Like if you're living your truth then you don't have to fight for anything. Things show up that, that you need. You just have to be willing to see them for what they are. It might not look the way you think it's going to look. It's just that you're being honest with yourself and therefore things around you manifested. So if you're having a struggle with working or anything else in your in your three-dimensional reality um yeah just go inward maybe and isolate a little bit and just think about what you know and be honest with yourself and truthful and kind of just gently examine the way things are and why you might be feeling badly about them or conversely why you're feeling really good about them that's cool too uh but things do balance out they work out real well 
I got better hours, better pay, and all after having a month of no work at all because my current employer, they just decided to like blast off to India for a month and left me with no job at all. So, you know, the fact that this new one came along just by itself, you know, it's just like, wow. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> See you later.